Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Beauty Budgets here and today I will be doing my paycheck one budget for my first paycheck of February. So this one will solely be for paycheck one budget. So let's pull that up. Oh, I didn't decorate this side. Oh, maybe I'll just leave it open. So let's do it as one big sheet then since I didn't decorate. Excuse me kids. All right, so, oh, where's my little spill? Hold on, y'all. <laughs> okay, so if you're new to my channel, on my channel, I give out jobs. My job is to be open, honest, and transparent, share much of my budgeting tips as I can, and to be supportive on your channel when I can, however I can, and you get a job. That's right. Your job will be to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like what you hear, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I'll be posting my next video. Now go ahead and do your little job do your little job you don't want to lose this little job you just got this job i showing up to my channel today so make sure you go ahead and do your little job thank you <laughs> y'all been doing y'all a little job i did not get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of january but that is okay because i am well on my way hopefully in the next week or two okay and before we get started let me just go ahead and do my subby shout out so today i'm going to be shouting out amy amy is from pretty frugal come on come on uh pretty frugal diva make sure you guys go ahead and show her some love let her know beauty budget sent you um right now she's at 130 subscribers so let's get her up it's you know y'all not yet now y'all know how i feel about pages that be all well organized and put together i love them so yeah this is so cute just makes me want to get my life together and then i never get my life together but anyway her planning I like to see people do their budgets and all of that just to see the behind the scenes on what their thought process was for their, you know, actual numbers. Um, I get a lot of questions all the time about like, how did I pick this number? How did I pick that number? And for most people, it's just kind of like a random like selection. Um, But some people actually have like an actual plan behind it. So, yeah. Make sure you go ahead and check her out, Pretty Frugal Diva. So I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can turn this a little bit. There we go. Not too bad. All right, y'all. So this is going to be February. Come on. Oh, I think I'm writing in white. That's why it's not showing up. Red or let's do brown because our colors are brown and red this month. So, so this is February 5th. Oh, so horrible. Okay. We are only going to do paycheck one budget. So that's all we're going to budget for today. And that is going to be 2136. Yes, I did some overtime. So 2136 is what we are working with. Um, for my bills, I will be doing a total of $871, which is what I normally do. And let's see. So, 21, oh, I always do that. 21, 36 minus 871. It's going to leave us with... One thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars. Okay, so for tithes, you know, 10% to the Lord, we're going to give him two hundred dollars. Okay, and then my kids come next. I didn't put none of my categories in, y'all. How am I going to do this without putting my categories in? <laughs> It's like I remember um, this side, but I do not remember my cash envelopes and stuff. Um, so she gets 50, he gets 100, and she gets 50. And then I put my 100 envelope challenge box here, but I do that at the end once I see what is left over. So mine is 200 for the kids. 
Let's see if I can remember this without having to go back. Okay. So we do gas, of course, groceries. Um, eating out. What else, y'all? What else do I do on my cash envelopes? <laughs> um, my pets. They got a hair appointment coming up too, so I gotta remember to make sure I give them. I think it's eighty bucks. Um, let me just go back and look. It would just be a lot easier if I go back and look and stop trying to um, go around it. So, okay, be day and give. So give is the only one that I'll be doing too. And then let me copy these. So if you have my planner and you don't want to rewrite everything, just lasso tool and however you did it, if you... Um, this is the lasso tool. So if you wrote it in like I did on here, then you make sure that the handwriting one is checked. If you use text, then you make sure the text box is checked. And then all you have to do is circle around the text that you're trying to get, copy, and then oops, click out and go back to where you're trying to go and paste it there. Took that uh well I need that anyway and then if you remember if you circle you can change the color so I'm using brown currently so I'll just change it all to brown and that's it so let me put give in now and that gets ten dollars my give is for homeless and you know, Girl Scouts, all that. Um, we recently increased our gas budget to $100 because we found that 80 was not enough. So minus 100, minus 10. Groceries gets 200. Jeez. Minus 200. Eating out, um, we'll get 100. And then we'll go down. So giveaway always gets $20. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll get 20. So that's gonna be $120. And then I'll write that in. Guys, every little bit counts. So if you don't have a whole lot to put in, don't start low um five dollars one dollar i've seen people put one dollar in envelopes and that's fine like that's what i do for my halloween envelope because i only need 60 70 bucks for halloween i started in how october so i had 52 weeks uh every two weeks which is 26 weeks i put in two dollars i should be close <laughs> to what i need so hey um so these are my travel ones. So let's do my holidays first. So let's do, we do $2 for Halloween, $2 for Thanksgiving. Christmas, we are on week five, which would be um, $5 to put in, but I am doubling it. So I am going to put in $10. Juneteenth is going to get 20 and the 4th of July is gonna get 20. So minus four, minus 10, and minus 40. Gosh, okay. We don't have a lot, huh? Let's see, let's see what we gonna do, what we gonna do. All right, so this is coming up. So that's gonna get 100. These will get 25. So minus 150. This is getting a dollar cheese one dollar no let's change that i don't like that idea let's change that 
So these would get 10. And then this would get 20. Okay. 51 goes to my 100 envelope challenge. How, how many is that going to fill up? Well, that's okay because I'll be stuffing more money next week. So let me do the calculations again to make sure I did this right because I got a little, little sidetracked. You know, it's so hard. I'm still not used to budgeting just the one income. Um, so I normally do with my husband's income, but he has officially went back to school full time. And then for the past couple of um, paychecks, we've always had like extra money, bonus money, YouTube money, um, Etsy, all that stuff. So doing this, my paycheck right now, I'm like, oh, snap. It's 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 a uh, it's a good amount though. I'm so I'm so I love my job, but <laughs> uh, my my brain is still on the double income budgets. Okay, because we get we we're, we're gonna um we are going to do another cash shopping next week, so we will have money. We will. Okay, so we're gonna take out the bills, take out the savings. Okay, take out cash envelopes. And then sinking funds. One, two, three, four, five, and then another one for anniversary. We are not doing any debt payoff until March um, because March is when we'll officially be one year of saving money with this system. So I figured might as well just do one full year of saving and then we'll start focusing on debt payoff. Um, so yeah, everything looks good, I think. You With that trip coming up, let's let's focus actually. Let's focus all of this money on the trip. So this is 50 and 70. So we're going to do 170 onto this trip coming up. And nothing in here. Yeah, let's do that. I feel better with that. Um, But yeah, that's the good thing about, you know, doing this yourself and budgeting the way you want. And this system is like you can see where you can give. Um, It's your money. So you do it exactly how you want. Just know this is probably how you'll go. You'll be looking like, dang, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And you just adjust and make moves according to what will work best. Let me turn that. According to what will work best for you. So I know my trip that's coming up is more important than these other trips because they're in the future. This one's in December. This one is in September. Um, and then my anniversary is in July. So I, you know, figured out I need to focus on this one for right now um, because it's coming up. Uh, so, yeah. And as you can see, it didn't take from like my normal savings or anything like that. I don't know. I just feel so with this being only $51. But that's okay because I've been hitting it pretty heavy lately anyway. So we'll only be able to do three envelopes this time. Yeah, let's see what we can. What else can we give up? Groceries, we have to do 200. We really can't budge on that. The dogs have to get their hair done. Their hair done. So, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It is what it is. That's all I can put into my 100 envelope challenge this week. That's all I can put in. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm satisfied with this budget. I'm satisfied with it now. <laughs> no more changes. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned. I hope you learned a little bit from this video. Um, 
if it was helpful in some way. And if not, hopefully it made you feel like, okay, sometimes it's kind of hard to pick these numbers out and, and decide what I'm going to put where. Um, but yeah, just you just got to do what works best for your situation. So this is what I came up with. Alrighty, I love you guys as watching as <laughs> I love you guys as always for watching. And until next time, peace. Bye.